It is 4.30 a.m. here on February 10. We're at Bethel Church, getting ready to load up the bus, head to Ohio. Today we are here. We wait seven minutes. I could give you the fact of the day. Oh, but, but we'll we'll get we'll check back in later. Yeah. We're back on the road. The bus is waking up. We're about ready to get the fact of the day. I can just read a, I just read a random one? Sure. Uh, milk may contain hormones that could increase the risk of having cancer. <laughs> what? That's Ruby, scary. That's terrible. Wait, I think scary. Tell Ruby that. Ruby, you have a problem. <laughs> the random fact of the day is that milk may contain hormones that uh, increase the chance of getting cancer. Oh, she's for sure. <laughs> That's right. No, you heard it. You can't believe everything you hear on the internet. Got your Sudoku done? Nice. Good brain work. How are you feeling, Aaron? Pretty good. I'm a little tired, but feeling good. Ready to play? Yes, sir. I messed up my back this morning sleeping. That's not good. Let's see what happens. Looks like most of the girls are still sleeping back here. Hopefully they have uh, time to wake up for the volleyball games. It's a game of taco cat goat pizza. Very cramped quarters down there. Chocolate and milk together. <laughs> this is too deep for me. Yeah, because if you would mix like chocolate protein powder with milk, it tastes like chocolate milk. But if you mix vanilla with chocolate milk, that's what it was. But if you mix vanilla with chocolate milk, it's not going to taste the same. Because vanilla and milk aren't the same flavor. So it's they're not opposite. Yeah, it is. This has been Deep Thoughts with Bubba. Now it's time for Sassy Thoughts with Raylena. Okay, now, Dante was in my way, so I told her to do. I'm always in her way. It's like a known thing by this time. Uh, What's Travis his name here? is Garrett. Garrett? Garrett. Carrot? Carrot. Garrett. Garrett. His arm's looking Stuart. After the dude perfect guy? Stuart? Isn't he this one? Stuart. Stuart. We don't have a name for him. I don't know, I just came up with it. He got adopted by me because Travis was if you have a name suggestion for it, that Abby knows. His eye looks really weird. <laughs> yeah, if you have a name, comment Travis. below. Hi vlog. Hi. We got a bunch of sleeping people back here. There's little Raya. <laughs> There's Tina. She's not sleeping anymore. Mandy woke up. Um, I'm so super excited for the Gospel Haven tournament. Maria is two. We play Gospel Haven first. Ready to get, um, yep. And John, do you want to state we're in? Uh, Ohio. We made it to Ohio. Time for lunch, brunch, food. Everybody piles off the bus. Here we go. This is why it's called Steak and Shake. What kind did you get? 
cookies and cream or something, Oreos. Good choice. No shake for Ruby? No. We're going to play Tiger King. <laughs> a brand new game. <laughs> Bubba's now a fan of Steak and Shake. <laughs> Pretty excited for this Nutella milkshake. This is, this is where it's at. The bus is locked. We're freezing. We need a weather report. Who's my weatherman? I think it's Crit. How's the weather today? Cold. It's really cold. You can tell we're in Ohio. It's cold. And it's Ohio. Gas price is 305. Yeah, that's why I mean popsicles. You give the cold seven out of ten. We are cruising on the road here. This is the part of the show we call predictions. Predictions for the weekend with Alexa. All right, I'm gonna predict that we're gonna we're gonna be effort up. I got Dante coming off the bench, hot, knocking down some shots. I got Nader getting like a whole bunch of steals this tournament. He's thinking 25 steals. The whole time. 25 steals. He's going off, defensive monster. Um, Bubba's gonna drop a lot of buckets. He's probably gonna score like 30 in one of the games. And I got Benji coming up big, getting like five points. So. Bubba's gonna hit the most points. Benji's gonna drop five threes in the finals. Benji? Yeah. Five threes. You heard it. Benji, high expectations. Predictions. 49 in the finals. Like he's gonna be defensive player of the <laughs> tournament. Maria gets a setters award. Tina gets MVP. Abby gets all star. Abby gets all star. Nate, Nate, my sleeper pick. <laughs> I got us winning it all, yep. and then I got Aaron getting at least one dunk, yep. and then this, uh, I saw Aaron and Bubba are going to get all-star, and my sleeper for all-star is Ben because he's going to pop off probably. Got a sleeper hey, all-star pick. Foul out. At least one. <laughs> at least one dude. And the rest of the games he's gonna have four fouls. <laughs> <laughs> no Abby is gonna pop off. I mean she's gonna be tearing it up. Yeah, yeah we're gonna go off and we're gonna win this. Okay, I'm trying to think of one. I'm I'm thinking everybody will get to bed on time. Hannah's gonna oversleep. Hannah's gonna oversleep. Orange is good. Orange is good. Hannah. My sleeper Sleeper pick. He's gonna come off. Finals is gonna drop. 35. He's gonna hit 10 threes. And then the buckets gonna be an air line. And like a putback. Put back to And then I got. Darren's got to come in with like, he'll get like a couple of clutch blocks in the finals or the semis or something. Scott will have it, I think um, whoever's in the middle is going to stuff their tent. Um, that'd be pretty cool. <laughs> <laughs> for sure, for sure. Oh yeah. Oh, yeah. We love Tammy. Tammy Beachy. We love Tammy, we love Tammy so much. If you watch this, Tammy. Tammy. We know Tammy oh, will be watching this. And every single Anna, Anna's gonna get defense awards. Oh, yeah. Anna's gonna go crazy. Anna's gonna go off. Holmes County. Dante's happy. Yeah, my third cousin. Dante's my He's pretty sure he saw his third cousin in that buggy back there. What about this tractor up here? Is your fifth cousin? Soon we'll be at the hotel. We have arrived at the Comfort Inn. We're right on schedule. What time is it? It is about 4.45. Getting ready to get some dubs. Looks like there's another bus to beat us. Maybe that is. We made it to the gym. Here's our fans. Problem is the lights don't work because their power went out for some reason. So hopefully we can get that back on soon. Team Captain Nate, how do you feel about the power outage? Uh, it's kind of annoying. Uh, I'm playing 11 o'clock late tonight. Sure, that'll be fine. <laughs> <laughs> Guys are still getting some good shots up. We are back in business. Let's go, Benji. Lights are on. Getting ready for this first game. 
All right. All right, everyone. We're very grateful that the lights are back. In the first round, the guys were paired up against the Faith Christian Academy Blazers. They were a young team, but they were well coached and anchored in the center by big senior Jacob Smith. After last year's slow start, it felt good to have Dante start us off with a quick bucket. As always, Nate Rio played a great game on defense, of course getting his four fouls, but also coming out with five steals and hitting some clutch three-pointers. Bubba and Benji also had double-digit scoring game, but Aaron Segris led the charge with 16 points 10 assists and 9 rebounds, almost a triple-double. Faith got out to a nice lead, and even though the Blazers hung around and played very well, we ended up with a 61-42 win to start the tournament. We're here with Malin. How do you feel after that game, Malin? Good. Dante, Good. ready for the next game? Got a few nods over there. We uh, play PV coming up here yep. in a few more minutes and we're looking forward to it. Meanwhile, over on the volleyball courts, the girls had gotten off to a rough start, losing their first match to Gospel Haven. In the second match, they faced off against Ephrata, once again losing the first game. However, in game two, things took a turn for the better as they got out to a lead and finished off the game with four straight points. Game three started off with a bang as Faith took a 6-0 lead behind the serving of Maria Smoker. But the Efforty girls made a nice comeback, tying up the game and even taking the lead for a little. With the score knotted up at 10-10, Maria Smoker once again took charge, scoring the next three of face points. Here we go, game point. One more point. Let's go, let's go, Maria. Block up. Lock up. Oh no. Let's go! Faith girls with the dub. As prophesied, run back the prophecies. I'm gonna predict that we're gonna, we're gonna be effort up. It's a big win for this team. Let's go. Assistant coach Darren Let's over here go. with the camera. Cameraman. Solid win. Nice. Good job, Faith Girls. We always love playing the Pleasant View Bulldogs. They're a fun team with a style similar to ours. And we've ended up playing against them in the finals or semifinals the last few years. We knew that their big man had graduated, but we also knew that number 10 had not graduated 
and he was going to be a problem again this year. But when the Bulldog showed up at the gym, Benji came over to me and he said, hey, do you see Caden's in a boot? I was like, oh no. So we talked to him and he said, yeah, he hurt his foot in a tournament a few weeks ago, but he thinks he'll still be able to play. Then he came out and did this. This turned out to be a really fun game. Bubba dropped seven dimes and scored 15. Nate had some more threes, but they really had no answer for Aaron, who dropped 23 points, got 14 boards, and shot an insane 83% from the field. The Bulldogs did make a great comeback in the fourth quarter, but we held on to win 59 to 55. We cap off a nice day and send us to the semifinals. Lots of happy faces. Got some dubs. Girls beat effort out as predicted. Now we're back at the hotel. Ready for some snack. Nate's pretty tired. Tina is ready to play some more games tomorrow. And Emmy. Let's go! Mom's coming in clutch with the snack. We got grapes, cheese. Chrissy, what were you doing? Chrissy just went for a run. We're not sure why. Say hi to Matt. This guy just joined us. Another newcomer, fresh off quizzing. You're gonna be the freshest legs tomorrow, so we're expecting great things. How's this table feeling? Aaron's not here right now, so we can talk about him. Put up Shaq numbers. <laughs> yes, sir. <clears throat> Couple broken backboards. Took care of business. Who would you rather play tomorrow in the semifinals? Ephrata or? So he's inexperienced. Here's the girls' table. They're eating grapes and Capri Suns. It is. 10 to 11, things are winding down. Mimi's ready to go to sleep. Raylena's tired. Guys are ready to refuel, recharge. How are you feeling about the night, Johnny? Pretty good, it was a fun game to watch. Their first game wasn't just great, but their second game they had a really good first half against um, Pleasant View, or yeah, yep. Bulldogs. Mm -hmm. They did really well against them. They played well. They looked really good. 
excited about the rest of the time. Came out clutch. Aaron with some big, yep. big money shots, big money rebounds. Nate was hitting some shots. Oh yeah, Nate went off he in the first off. half. And then Aaron cleaned up all the rebounds. Maybe <laughs> I don't know, like 20 rebounds. <laughs> Yeah, a lot. Good incredible. stuff coming up tomorrow. Hopefully we can see Ephrata in the semifinals. Yep. See how it goes.